Welcome to day 6 of 100 days of Webflow. Today we're gonna look into some GSAP and we're gonna make some GSAP animations using Webflow. We're gonna take a Reloom component, Reloom layout 417, and we're gonna animate it using GSAP. We're gonna change the animation from Webflow's native to GSAP. And we're gonna see the difference. We're gonna see how these two animations can differ if we send them up. And of course, with GSAP, you have a lot of more options that you can use so that you can make your animation even nicer. So let's not bore you with all this talk. Let's get to this. Let's see how this is built. All right. So GSAP is a JavaScript library that is external. So even though it has more options, it does have cons like loading time and performance. So it's always good to keep that in consideration when you're working with GSAP versus when you're making Webflow interactions. So that will always depend on the type of project you're building. But let's get to this. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, I will create a page wrap just to have page wrap ready. So I already have a page wrap. Next, I'm going to add the Reloom component. Now I already have the Reloom Chrome extension. And if I have this, I can directly go to the component library and find the component that I want. Now I want layout 417. And this layout is basically a card stacked. There are four cards stacked on top of each other. So let's copy this. Let's paste it here. So you can see there are four cards stacked on each other. Now, this is a bit broken because first we're going to delete this instruction bit. And then this is broken because I don't have the variables and the colors. So I'm just going to remove that just so we can have this better visually. And I'm going to add this as white and uh, this border color. Let it be a uh, soft black or even softer black. So the border radius. 20 pixels, 1.25 frames. Okay, so now we can see it better. Also this heading, let's uh, fix it up. So it's 10 rems, the height is one. And uh, let's give it an option of minus 0.05 EM. And let's change it to say cascade. All right, now we have set up something. Now let's have a look at this in preview mode. So when I go in preview mode, my cat just popped in the video. Hey cat. All right. So when I go in preview mode, I can scroll down and you can see these cards are going out of display uh, one by one. So the first card going, the second card and the third card. Now I'm going to add a section under this just so that we can scroll all the way down to the page and we scroll this section out of view basically. So I'm just going to add a div block. I'm going to call this section final and uh, inside it I'm gonna add final container inside it I'm gonna add a heading 2 and this heading will say powered by gsap all right so this will be 100 dynamic view height and uh, we'll make it flex center center now this is just to have a full page a section that will take this section fully out of view. So when I'm fully in this section, this is completely out of view. And that's exactly what I want. Uh, let's make this 48. Yeah, so five frames, height one. All right, so let's go back to our project. Now, what do we have here? We have um, a section uh, called layout 417 components and this section has 300 view height. Now this section is what I'm basically scrolling through and then inside it there is layout 417 content. This has 100 view height and it's positioned sticky to the top so this is why this section stays here when I scroll through uh, the 417 component. And then we have this layout 417 trigger and this is basically uh, the animations and where these are set in the animations. And uh, as you can see here, there are two animations, one for desktop and one for mobile. And uh, that's basically for distances and the percentage of the page of where this animation starts. And that's why Reloom sets two of them. In our case, we will want this animation to be the same on desktop and mobile. So I want to scroll out of the four cards same way on desktop or mobile, except on mobile, I'll be scrolling through my touch, my fingers. On the desktop, I'll be scrolling through my mouse. So let's just inspect the animation quickly. So we have here uh, some different 
percentage, so at 20%, at 40%, at 60%, something happened. So we have a layout card, card one, and then we have layout card, card two, and card three, and so on. So uh, what we will do is basically we're gonna create a similar animation on GSAP. So this is the animation that is currently there on uh, Webflow. We can see that it basically rotates the card. It moves it from the position to minus 100 view height and minus 10 view width. And it does the same for the next card and the next card. So you see this one is at zero. So card two is at zero and then card two goes to that position. And um, yeah, I believe this one is for it to return back and this one is for it for the first one to go out and this for is for the first one to be there. So as you can see on Webflow, you're gonna have to think of all the possible scenarios to make this animation go right now. Of course, this is a uh, trial and testing. You can always live preview and see what's happening. So uh, you can always test this. What we understood here is that the cards are rotating out and they're moving to minus 100 view height. So that's what we will be doing. That's the animation we are going to be doing on GSAP. So let's go back to the cards. So first I want to style these cards now. I just want to have this image, this card to be an image basically. So I'm going to delete this icon class and I'm going to call this image full. Uh, I'm going to give it 100% uh, width and 100% height. And I'm going to give it a, not a ratio, a fill of cover. And I'm going to go to layout card 417. I'm going to remove all these paddings so that my image covers the whole card. I'm going to remove this content, this extra content. And then I'm going to set layout 417 card, the actual card, not card one, the whole card, the main one. And I'm going to give it a width of, say, 40 rams and the height of 30 rams or 25 to yeah and then i'm gonna change these images so i'm gonna upload some images i have already set up for this tutorial so let's see so we have this first image which is the tv and then we're gonna copy this inside all the other ones uh, we're gonna basically make the same thing just gonna delete all the content and we're gonna change all the images so i'm gonna do this quickly and then the fourth image so now we have our four images. We're also gonna make sure that our card is overflow hidden so that we get the border radius that we set up. Now, if we toggle this in preview mode, we're gonna see that these cards are moving. The pictures are not there. Let's see, maybe they're loading. I think they're heavy pictures. And uh, now thanks to the compress feature from Webflow, we can go to the assets. We can go and select these pictures. And then we can compress them and now we can compress them in AVIF mode. So that's even better than WebP. So it makes it really light and it's going to keep the quality of it uh, crisp clear. So we're going to check this. Okay, so now we have all the images so we can see that if we scroll out, uh, this is what happens and then we can see this animation. So this is the native animation from Reloom, from Webflow, this is the native animation that was set there, uh, the one that we saw in Trigger. So this is the one, and this is the one obviously in Desktop. So I'm gonna publish this, and I'm gonna have a copy of this page or a tab open with this page just for us to reference to later on. So we have this tab, as you can see, this is the animation that is Reloom powered. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the fun part where we connect GSAP, where we make this animation using GSAP. So first thing we're gonna do is delete this uh, trigger element. So we're gonna delete it because we don't need any triggers for this animation. We're gonna animate this with GSAP. First, let's check the cards. What we're gonna animate is, so we have this section layout for 17 component. Uh, and it is 300 view height. Now we want this. Actually, I'm just going to set this to dynamic view height just for responsiveness reasons. So this is 300 view height. And this is basically all the, the place where I want to make my animation. So it's me scrolling through this section is where the animation will happen, where all of my cards moving out of the project will happen. And then I have these four cards. So I have this card 
a layout 417 card and I can see a combo class of card 1, card 2, card 3, card 4 and these are uh, based on an absolute position that they are set in and a Z index and that's basically what I want to animate so I want to animate these four cards one by one to go out of the screen to go out to minus 100% and rotate minus 30. Very easy very simple so let's go to the project settings and let's write this code now we can get this code on the code sandbox or other platforms but we're just going to write this here because it's a very very simple code and an easy one to write uh, first thing we're going to do is get the cdn codes now these are available in uh, gsap so if you go to gsap uh, on google you can go to the gsap homepage. Uh, you can go to docs and then you can go to installation and you can see here in cdn uh, this is the gsap code this is the first one that i copied and then we want the scroll trigger because this is the plugin that we're going to use in this video. We basically copy these two scripts and that's what we have here. And these are basically calling the libraries. Next, we're going to open our script and close script. So this is uh, where we write our GSAP code or the animation code. And the first step would be to basically call scroll trigger plugin. And this is the scroll trigger or, or the plugin that we're going to use is scroll trigger. So that's the first thing we call in our animation. Now, the second thing we're going to add our timeline. Now, every animation needs a timeline and that's basically what uh, or the place or like I like I described it earlier, the place where the animation happens. Of course, we also close this. Uh, brackets just to uh, make sure that we don't forget any of them and now we start describing our timeline so our timeline will be scroll trigger so we're gonna call uh, scroll trigger and then we're gonna open close brackets and then we're gonna call uh, scroll trigger here and then we're gonna give it the options that we set up so let's look at these options are gonna first describe the trigger so the trigger here is set this up so the trigger is layout 417 component and that's basically let's go to the navigator let's close this let's go to the navigator so layout 417 component and this is the one that has 300 view height and like we said this is the trigger this is where our animation will happen so from the beginning of this section until this section goes out of view and this is where we want to make our gsap magic next we're gonna call uh, the start so the trigger is this now it starts at uh, top top and that means it starts at the first beginning so when the top of the element is at the top of the page and then it ends at or end at bottom bottom and that's basically when the element bottom is at the bottom of the page and that's where the animation stops finally we're gonna add a cool thing that gsap has which is scrub and this allows us to make our animation smoother when scrolling through it especially the scroll uh, trigger animation and uh, we're gonna set that to true now of course later on we're gonna test out some different uh, numbers or values of scrub next we are gonna start our gsap animation now first we set our timeline we know where the animation will happen now second we are gonna set the animation itself first thing i'm gonna set card one animation now to set the animation we're gonna call the timeline that we just described and then we're gonna tell it to so basically go from original position to what i'm gonna describe here now and that will basically be the scaling and uh, i mean the rotating the moving and all the the settings that we just saw so i'm gonna copy this because i already wrote it and just not gonna rewrite it again i'm gonna describe it to you now okay so we have timeline two and then card one so we're targeting the cards directly we don't need to target layout 417 uh, card then card one we can target the cards directly wait let me show you this so we have layout 417 card and card one is a combo class here card two is a combo class card three we can target these combo classes directly without targeting layout 417 and this works fine because again these are the only classes that are there so this is the the target of our animation and we're telling this timeline to go from card one from original position to minus 100 view height and the y-axis rotate minus 30 degrees the duration of this animation is going to be one and there is an ease of power to n now in the ease topic so we can go to gsap 
website again we can go to easing you can get all these easing power and power out now some of them are really cool these power animations they're nice they're set from uh, gsap themselves so you can copy these you can set them out you can uh, preview them and then copy the the value here so power 3 dot out now i have power 2 dot n and you can test out to your own we're gonna have the same animation for all four cards so this one will be card two this one will be card three and this one will be card four and they all go minus 100 view height and then rotate the duration and then ease and uh, adjust the comments so this is card three this is card four before going there i realized i have a typo here so this should be scroll trigger and so another typo now, before we go on the new version, just to distinguish between this one, which is the Redom component, and uh, we're going to set this background color to be something like beige or something. Beige. And um, yeah, we're going to publish this. Now we're going to view. So as you can see, this is the GSAP animation, and this is the reloom animation it's background color white this background color beige now as you can see these two animations are a bit different we have this gsap animation it's super smooth by the way it's very nice uh, this native workflow animation is still nice it's amazing but it could be better if we can adjust it even further so for example this cascade thing is going out as soon as i'm exiting the page here i can at least have a moment to read this title another thing is that uh, when perhaps when going into a different view width, this can cause some errors. So let's try it with this view width, so go closer. You can see this one scrolls well. This one has this last card somehow still there and some minor error. However, again, GSAP is a JavaScript library that's external. Uh, Webflow is a native interaction that you can do right there. Of course, these have their own pros and cons on performance. So you need to check that out when you're doing your project, depending on the project that you have, depending on the availability of how much third party JavaScript you can put in. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys liked it. Do give us a thumbs up. If so, if you guys are liking this type of content, we're going to make Webflow youtube videos daily so make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you get updated on these videos whenever they're out see you tomorrow in day seven